We're here to replace a, uh, a gas pipeline that supplies up to 25% of Britain's gas uh, that is currently uh, below the River Humber and it's at risk of exposure. So we're filling the tunnel up with uh, specially treated water, uh, approximately 50,000 cubic metres, which is equivalent to uh, 16 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Uh, this water is specifically treated to higher than drinking water standards and the reason why we need that is to ensure that the pipeline is protected for its design life um, so the water needs to be very very pure so that's now been completed and we're now into the phase of pushing the pipe into the tunnel there are eight pipe strings all approximately 620 meters in length and we basically push the first pipe in using a 750 ton thruster and then once we push that first pipe in, we bring our second pipe string in behind it. We weld it, test it and coat it, and then we proceed to push the pipe string in to the next one. We do that until we've got all eight pipe strings inside the tunnel. That will just be below five kilometres of steel gas pipeline inside the tunnel. This will be the longest hydraulically inserted gas pipeline in the world. The push rate is approximately one metre per minute. So each pipe string will take around 10 hours to push into the tunnel and what it will do is actually secure the safety and security of our gas pipeline which um, supplies up to 25% of Britain's gas. Yeah, so once we've completed our pipe insertion we will make our connections and we expect that the gas will be flowing by the end of this year. We've also had workers from around the world working on this project um, but what's been really positive is we've had quite a, uh, a large contingent of local workers who have gained some real skills from this project who will then be able to take them on into future employment in different schemes around, uh, around the country.